Hey guys, uh, thank you for coming to the Bar Box. I am your host, Sith Lord Felix, with the always amazing Chuck from Backyard Billiards. How are you, boss? I'm good, I'm good. Lovely oh. uh, Sunday, Saturday afternoon. Just enjoying life, man. How lucky is it he, this guy gets to go on there and, and play? <laughs> I wish I had a setup at a pool table, but you know, I need my own pool table. Oh, yeah, this man. is a nine foot uh, AMF table. It's the one they use mostly, mostly in the, uh, uh, oh, what is that one? Tom Cruise one. Color Money. Oh, Color Money. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. And. Before we move on, I got to always introduce the absolutely awesome Mr. Ruben. How are you, boss? I'm doing good. Unfortunately, I, I, I'm heading to a job right now, but uh, I wanted to check in with you and I ended up staying on the show. <laughs> uh, hey, man. No, no, that's <laughs> I just I just I force fed you onto the show, man. My bad. <laughs> no, but uh. Well, good, good. Well, listen, don't say anything too incriminating. Again, you know, this is live on Rumble. Uh, you know, nothing that can get you into any serious trouble, but, you know, so to make sure that the job is clean and that there's no witnesses. So far, so good. I'll let you uh, know when the ego has landed. Ah, uh, all right, all right. Okay, so, I mean, shit. Let's, let's, see, let's see what's going on here, man. I guess I'll start with a quick update. I, I, I won my APA game uh, this past Wednesday with the, with, the, with the team, which, by the way, they changed the name. Our, we, we changed our name from the Pasco Ballbusters. <laughs> uh, all right, we changed that name to something way more uh, dignified. So we what are is, now... What is it now? <laughs> tap these balls. <laughs> tap these balls. I I'm right. I, uh, I'm done with the names, man. <laughs> I, I, my team's my team. I'll rep tap these balls. I'll rep ball busters. You know, I'm down. That's, that's what it is. But damn, I mean, can't we just be like the Pasco pool players? You know what I mean? Like, you know, like so something that I can tell my mom what the name is. <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> you know? Yeah. It'll be a little weird when you'll be like, hey, mom, tap, tap these balls. Tap these balls. Uh, Monday night at nine at, at, at the overtime. <laughs> yeah, I had a good name for my team. It's called a uh, pool hall junkie. Oh, pool hall junkies? Yeah, yeah. I think, but uh, I, I mean, I guess there's a lot of, there's a lot of names like that. Like, I, I've, well, there's a. Uh, God, what was the other one? We the other name we had was Monkey Business. That one didn't stick for shit. I like Ball Busters personally, but I but everyone is called the Ball Busters. Every there's like a million teams called that, you know. Uh, from what I understand, so I'm like, okay. In fact, when I played the turn, when we played the tournament, we had to play another team called the Ball Busters. So I was like, okay, all right. So that's not <laughs> that's not the most original. So so tap these balls. I have a feeling that one is at least more original, no? Yeah, I mean, it sounds pretty cool, though. <laughs> Tap these balls. It should have been balls, like B-A-W-L-S. That would have been perfect. But get this suit already running, nine rack. What you got going on there, Chuck? Talk to us. I can have to practice on the... I'll tell you what I'm doing if you want, and just... uh. We, we talk you know, about whatever you guys want to talk about. Okay, well, shut up. I just want to put put him on the spot. Chuck, congratulations, by the way, on winning your match. You're back on the saddle. Oh, yeah. And, dude, I fucking, I mean, I won. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I, it, like I lost one game out of out of, th out of uh, all of them. Uh, I sunk the eight on the break on the first rack. Oh, wow. Yeah, so that kind of set the tone. So that was kind of cool. You know, and in the well, eight, I, I noticed on one of your practice uh, videos that you let out, you even made an eight ball on the break as well, right? Yeah, yeah. In fact, 
I'm getting kind of good at it, man. Like, like, uh, I would say almost maybe one in 20, at least one in 15, one in 20, or uh, like it can be like a, a golden break. And I don't know. Maybe that's exaggerated. Maybe I'm wrong on that, but it's, it feels like that. <laughs> I see. Maybe five percent or less, or is nah, of breaks. What I, I don't know. Is that too low? And I'm just bragging for nothing. Or is that too high? And that's that doesn't make sense. That was close, my boy. Did I lose, okay. Ruben? I think I can throw it in that box there, though. Uh, a little more, a little more stank on it. You would have been, you would have had that. I oh man! Okay, you were wrong. Just because cue ball is a lot easier to control off this real fast. If I come yeah. over here, my cue ball crazy like. So the shot's harder, but the. The outcome's a lot better if I make it. Like, I'll do really just talk, talk to him with John and just uh, hit him with low English. Wow. Just it. That's what's called practice. Well, hell of a run all the way there. Oh, yeah. In fact, hold on. I'm, let me see if I can find this. Uh... I'll share this one right here. <laughs> it's, it's not always the easiest shot you want to take. Yeah, no, totally. Are you back with us, Ruben, or are you, or did I lose you? Yeah, are you able to hear me now? Yeah, I can hear you. Yeah, I don't know why, what happened. It's just when um, everything, I, mean, I wasn't even able to hear Chuck. Oh, no, nah, that's nah, cool. Or we got we to gotta figure it out. I could actually probably run this down. So, any, well, so, Ruben, so talk to me uh, while I got you on there. How's the, uh, How's the week treating you? You got anything new going on? Not much. Um, I don't know if you know, but I've had a thorn in my finger for the last month, and it's right yes. on my—it's right on my bridge, my bridge finger. So I ended up going to the doctors again for the second time since the swelling went down, and he was trying to dig out that thorn, but he wasn't able to get it out. So, um, he said, I'm going to have to probably leave it in there because he didn't want to do more damage to my finger. So, now I got a great excuse every time I lose. I got a, yeah. doctor's, I got a doctor's note. <laughs> what a way to look at him and pull out the doctor's <laughs> note. Or, uh, you ever see, you seen the Joker, the, the new Joker movie? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> when you hand him a card and say, hi. Uh, <laughs> I have a thorn in my finger, so please, uh, you know, forgive me if uh, you know if you if you exactly. win. Remember that. <laughs> so, so that's actually how how I've been starting my matches, where I remind them I do have a thorn in my finger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm kind of hurt here, guys. So you know. Yeah. So unfortunately, it is. Uh, I did take some pictures uh, on my next match. I'll show you know when I'm right there, laid out with the doctor working on my finger, and. Um, but yeah, that's that's well, the latest is that thorn. You know, it's not on my side; it's on my finger. <laughs> so I'll be playing with that from now on. So it'll be interesting. Was it was it hurting like uh, like was oh, it messing yeah. up your stroke? Really? Well, it's on my bridge hand. It's my bridge finger. Of course. So it's just little physical yeah so, disruption. So at first. Uh, you know the pain was there but i was trying to figure you know oh once i go to the doctors and get it 
done and over with, I'll be good. But now I have to basically live with the pain. So we'll see what happens. Oh man, yeah, let's see. Yeah. But it sounds like you know, another like week or two of of nonsense at most. Then, the, if God willing, right? Yep, yep. But other than that, like I said, I'm sure right here at work. Oh. Oh, you're aware? Okay, yeah, no, because I was going to say, you're probably, if not, you know, you're you're turning into a superhero. This is, <laughs> you got bit by the radioactive bug, and, like, you should be, like, walking on walls and or something. I don't, <laughs> like, you know, within really? the next week. But, yeah, I'd like to say hello to our, the, the, you said we have one subscriber on Rumble? <laughs> yeah. Spoiler alert, it's me. Oh, <laughs> that's your other account. Yeah, yeah, right, right. So, but no, you know, it's like because uh, there's the main account and then there's the channels underneath me. So, yeah, listen, there's three people watching right now. And I think I'm one of them too. So, to the other two people that are watching this, you check in myself. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Uh, do me a favor hit the like button and follow you know hey uh, we need a we're brand spanking new channel um you know at, at least rumble has been really good to us especially on the other um the, especially on the other channel like yo youtube is is killing me man i yo, it's just so bizarre like the the yeah the views dried up all that stuff i'm still doing releases it's whatever because usually it like I noticed that it's a swing like it goes really really low and then you get a bump and then it, you know you ride that for a while and it gets really really low and then there's a bump and then you ride that for a while but right. this this but yeah but this lull is, is just like was especially brutal so far it's not I'm, I'm not even out of it yet yeah my sit's only getting like maybe uh i don't know uh five to ten views like each bit short like <laughs> that's bad you know what i mean like yeah, like each short, short that's bad that's it that yeah that's yeah that's unthinkable like i'm like that doesn't make sense and then when i look at the analytics it's saying that it's only showing it to like three people well, you, <laughs> you must have pissed somebody off over at youtube <laughs> i know man i know it, it, it must have been some 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 fucked up comment like <laughs> you know who knows man i don't know but uh it, yeah it's the same thing i, I definitely got like i I'd probably tell you offer this isn't like uh I, don't, <laughs> I know one thing that got me in trouble at twitter like back in like maybe five years ago and um shit i like yeah that account that account never recovered either it's like you know, like the algorithm is 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 painful. Well, it looks to me, man, like you're starting to get you know really comfortable at the table. So that's a really, really good thing. Uh, like I said, when you when you get out of shape and stuff, you know, don't beat yourself up. Just you know, rethink your strategy. You know, sometimes, yeah, you know, you got, sometimes you got on the wrong side of the ball. And so you get mad at yourself. You just think about it. You know, it might work out better for you. I mean, just uh, you know, you might you might actually go. Well, like the day ball that I shot in the other corner. I mean, yeah. Uh, I actually uh, learned that by accident because I uh, rolled one day and, you know, instead of getting upset, you know, I just thought to myself, you know, what, what, what do I do next? So if you can just think of each shot as individually shot, you know, like I said, you know, what if your opponent lets you that shot? You'd just be happy to be at, be at the table, you know? Yeah, and then you focus on making it happen. Because usually it's a bad shot when they <laughs> turn to get back up there. You know, a lot of times you're dealing with a, a stupid safety or, uh, you know. So, yeah, you just treat it like that. I took some notes from last week from y'all y'all, y'all talking. And uh, I wanted to talk about one thing for sure. Uh, coaching, like, uh, you know, I was... You know, I've been the captain and, uh, you know, have been full time outs and stuff. But you got to take a think. I mean, people usually only call time out when they're stuck between the rail and a ball and you, 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 you know, have no, 
really not, really didn't have a good answer for you anyway. You know, what you should have done was take and uh, take the time out on maybe a shot before that or or something like that. Because, you know, if I tell a, a little player, okay, just hit this ball and tap it. Well, my tapping and your tapping will be totally different. Yeah. You know, their tapping is, you know, still pretty, pretty hard. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. My tap, I got in touch. I just tap. I can't give you the advice I give myself. So when I, when I would coach people, I would give them several scenarios and be like, which one do you feel more comfortable with? Which one do you feel, you know, that you can do? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's that. Like, uh, especially when uh, when I got coached this week, I got really good coaching from Terry. That's uh, he's kind of like the co-captain. Um, and and he, I, I want to say he's either a six or a seven. I think he's currently a six, but he's he's fucking great shot, really, really good. Um, and and he gave me good coaching. And like usually my uh, um. Uh, one that I've gotten better with, but I still need help with is like just <laughs> spare bone shit. Like if I'm, I'm applying English, uh, to avoid scratching and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Well, it comes down to the fact that after it doesn't, after it doesn't happen, the uh, player tends to think that you just give bad advice, but it's not bad advice. It's just something you're not able to do. I, like, I can't tell you, can't get full rails in the corner over here. Uh, you know, that'd be kind of impossible to ask you to do that and be able to, to do it. But, you know, sometimes there ain't no other way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, you know, you know, just hit the ball, you know, you have to go you know, three or four rails sometimes, you know. And they're not going to hit that same shot like I would. You know, easy with some English. They're going to think they got to slam that muscle ball or and uh, it's not gonna work out for them. But my suggestion to that is, two coaches, uh, give them several options and tell them what they, ask them what they feel more comfortable doing. That way, y'all both come to an agreement and they feel more comfortable treating it. No, that's, a, that's a cool tip, yeah. Both my uh, both my coaches, at least, uh, at least I lucked out. I, this is the first team I joined. And I'm like, you know, I've been here. I think we're we're going on over over two years, and I really lucked out, like with who I got as captain and co-captain. So, um, thank God for that. Yeah, sounds good. Let me see. Um, another thing I was um, I was actually watching. Uh, uh, I think you said it was APA three, and it's it's about the mental game, which you know. I don't really know how much a, a three really knows about the mental game, so I actually watched, you know, watched it just to see what we had to say. And, you know, it was pretty spot on as far as, you know, uh, you know, drinking, trying to, you know, not let things get to you, stuff like that. But, you know, that's still harder to do than say. You know, it's harder to perform it than to talk about it. No, I can say all day, you know, I shouldn't let things distract me. I shouldn't, uh, you know, do this, that, and the other. I should get mad. Um, and just, it's not, you just gotta, uh, it all boils down to focusing on your own game. Uh, you know, you're, you're at the table, uh, you know, they're talking about big muscle, muscle guys and, you know, not being intimidated, but, you know, you should, shouldn't be intimidated by anybody anyway because it's your their brain your your yeah, not their not their body. So uh you know it's just really hard to keep focused no matter you know what skill level you're at. I mean all it takes is one shot, you know, at a high level. I mean I mean just think of uh I'm talking about there, say Alex Pagalion. He, he misses one ball and he can be sent down three, four games before he sees another shot again. Yeah. So I mean yeah. you're so at that level, you know, your mistakes really hurt you even worse because it's not like, you know, uh, like a lot of people you play, Felix probably, you know, you miss a ball, you might get up another time or two that game. Right. Can you, can you imagine that one shot, you know, uh, 
you know, cost you the whole match. Yeah. You gotta run out and, three games and win. Because you, know, you missed that one ball. So one thing I notice in this, in like, all right, this is my this is my main drill, right? It's you're seeing it on screen. Obviously, this is me practicing, and I just throw like if uh, all the seven stripes out there. All right, I have, uh, and sometimes I'll have one or two um, balls, you know, uh, uh, solids on there, one or two solids on there. And the reason I do that is like this is a, a it's always a a common situation, especially for me. Someone will run four or five balls, maybe six, right? And then I'm left with everything else. So I, I don't know. I kind of I found it kind of I, I found it handy. Well, another thing, another little bit of advice to you. Is uh, trying to make sure to stay off the rails because I, I noticed like when you're shooting, you know, you're just paying attention to make the ball, which is fine. And yeah. You all get exposed on the rail, it leaves you a hard shot. Another yeah. Because like, you know, me and Ruben shoot the same shot. We're going to hit the ball just a little bit harder to make sure it gets off the rail. I mean, yeah, you don't have to kill it enough. Just you know, a little harder than you normally would, just just to make sure it gets off the rail. Yes. Try to add your game. And just watch how much your game will improve because you're not on the all the time. Yeah. And uh, you ain't kidding. All right, let me uh, set this up over here. This can come off. Boom. Oh, so you got your nine set up again. Let's see what you got. Oh, my God. This is crazy with, with the nine ball racks. I wish I could do this. unusual. I usually make a ball. But, uh, I will tell you guys, you know, you gotta, if you want to get good, even if it's on a bar box, you need to practice on a nine foot. Because these balls are the same size, but they look smaller on the table. So yeah. when you get go to a small table, uh, you know, be honest with you, there's no long shot on Bar box from the SU Swan. Right. I shoot a table length, you know, shot on seven foot, and it'd be just, you know, like in here on this table. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, especially, you know, like uh, when we have tournaments uh, at Capone's, right? Uh, when we have tournaments there, there's the nine foot tables on one side. But the tournament is on the bar box section on the other side. Right? Yeah. And the best thing to do is to, to warm up on those nine-foot tables. I don't know. At least that's my opinion. I don't know. I think people would disagree. But I think it's great to set up on those long tables because, you know, because it really, you, you know, I don't know. It turns you into a sharpshooter on a bar box, especially, like, right after, you know. At least I get that. I, I get that. I don't know if anyone else does. Feel free to leave something in the comments. I, we actually got up to like five, six watchers. So that's all, that's definitely cool. Yeah, we're, we're gonna call that. Okay. yeah, I was going to do that stuff all the time. Right now. Let's see what's up. I don't know that. If I was in a tournament, I definitely would. So when you're practicing, you definitely want to play like you're in a tournament. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Because I don't really have a good shot before anyway. I might as well go for it. And just, I'm going to leave, but at the same time, I'm going to leave the ball down the table here to make sure, you know, to leave the four ball down here. Ooh. This would be in trouble for me oh. to the tournament here. Oh yeah, yeah. Your opponent would is has like a pretty spread table there. Got a little pony up. 
Yeah. It's funny too because those nine foot tables, it's like uh, when I do go to Capone's on my own to try to practice on them, I swear <laughs> it's so humbling because <laughs> I'm so I'm used to you know no the one I have at the clubhouse is actually an eight foot, so I you know I do practice with a with a, a bigger a, you know a bigger table, and that definitely helps. But uh, it's not even even still. If I go on a nine foot table, man, I, ugh. especially my first uh, like ten shots, <laughs> they're they're pretty horrible. Um. Beautiful. Whew. Wow, nice run out there. And we got to get you one of them Bluetooth speakers or something. Or uh, microphone, rather. Yeah, I know, man. So you just pay me more, man. Maybe I can get some of that. Yeah. That's right. <laughs> now we're negotiating. <laughs> hey, Bunny, actually, I actually have a stack rack with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I I know how to if I if I wanna like you know pattern racks what they call it. Yeah they, I know the one ball's gonna go inside. I know the three balls gonna make here, two balls gonna end up over here or around this area. Um and even if I don't make the one, it'll come close to this corner. I'm definitely trying to make the three and draw the cue ball kind of back out this way. So as long as I know where the one and two and three is going, normally you know, I can, you know, that, that's why it is proud of the telling you to watch out for it because people, they rack their own like do this. <laughs> yeah, right? That should be automatic. No, no. Yeah, the two ball lined up. The three ball almost went, but it. Yeah. But you know, if I didn't tell you, you wouldn't, you wouldn't know, you wouldn't know that. Right. I don't know, but because yeah, yeah, usually the opponent's racking, right? Or or. Well, a lot of tournaments you rack your own. Well, oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I played a uh oh man because my friend wanted to get in in a nine ball tournament at Capone's with the nine ball. I'm sounding like a fucking commercial for them. They're, they're a good place, but uh, I I signed up to the nine ball one on a nine foot table. It was it was ex really, really, really embarrassing. It's not my game to begin with. <laughs> and it was like I was still a beginner. I don't know. Yeah, I want to say like it was maybe a year ago, year and a half ago. Ah, uh. I'm human. But you know, you gotta, you gotta forgive yourself, man. Don't, don't, you know, 
just know you know you did something wrong, you just move on, you know. Yep, yep, it is what it is. He flipped his cigarette right when I took my shot, dude. <laughs> Damn, I need to definitely set my... Yeah. Oh, man, but I, I'm, like, really bad. And, and I probably have a little bit of luck on the eight-ball tables. I've been trying to... I don't know. Just keep trying to set up break and runs and and, uh, and then work backwards from there. <laughs> this is a regular rack. I didn't pattern rack it. A lot of terms now are making two, two ball in the back so you, don't, so you can't you know, pattern rack it easily. Okay. I'm trying to make a four and a one. Four ball in the corner, one ball on the side. We got two. And you got a decent shot at the two. At least it looks like it from here. Seven balls will be the, the tricky ball here. Yeah. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try to come straight at it. Try to cut the corner here. Okay. Yeah, I'm done. I'm trying too hard to get a good shape on the seven. Well done that before, though. Yeah. Still, you know, so my, me as the opponent, I'm gonna try to make a stick and have the cue ball come and bolt the eight stop. Tournament, I'm definitely going to right now. I'm going to bring the cue ball all the way up the table. Some people, you know, I'm like this. I just like looking at it. Same concept, though. But I'm more worried about getting my cue ball down the table than actually making a shot, believe it or not. Um, you know, now it's a tough shot from my opponent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Heck of a cut make, there. The shot's makeable, of course, but... Well, kind of around the eight, so I'm going to make a seven. Nine, nine ball when it moves. Man, line up for a eight-nine combo. I'm going to try to get it straight, because people can come here. And between the eight and nine, two rails out this way, try to park right in this area here. Yeah. It was in there, though. Just took a lot of speed, so I just got to bank it now. So here I'm going to have that position from top English, come to the rail and back out. So I'm just going to concentrate just on making the bank. Ooh. I mean, we're on Rumble, but I'm pretty sure you still can't be touching titties like that. <laughs> oh, man. No. A little rub off the nub. <laughs> yeah, I got that from my buddy Darren. I misread it once. A little rub off the nub. <laughs> you play rotation, man, because you ain't got no choice. You know, an eight ball, you have, you know, other options if you don't get chased. Yeah. So, That's what gets frustrating with nine ball for me. Because, like, yeah, my, uh, I don't know. I haven't tried it in a while. So maybe I could, I can play a little, play it a little bit better. But, man, nah, it's, it was, <laughs> 
Well, like I told you, man, if you just throw it on with three or four balls and work your way up. Yeah. Yeah, Brian Brian actually taught me that. Like, he's, he trained me for a nine ball tournament that I won, but it, yo, bro, but it was like low level, you know, amateurs. You know, people playing for fun type shit. You know, it wasn't for any major, major anything. It was more for bragging rights. I think it's even, uh, I'm gonna come. Take, I'm gonna do a little takey. I'm gonna take uh, hit the row, hit the one, bring the one over here, and hit the cue ball from the six. Okay. Be a little tough. Yeah, so I'm gonna actually do a mass eight. I get the two, two, uh, one, two combo. Ah. Uh. I'm gonna try. See, the slower I see, I hit it slow. I didn't hit. I didn't hit it fast, but you know, actually, the slower you hit, the more time it gives me to take. Yeah. Now, yeah, I'm being specific with my cue ball where I want to be at. Got for granted, yeah, I do that too. Oh, I got lucky and I think if I wanted to, I still just think about my next shot. I'm being specific with my cue ball. I just did you know, it. I don't have to go look at it. Damn it. I know it is. I'm going to lazy sometimes just to make people mad. One hand behind the back. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Like earlier, yeah. All right, I'm tell you guys how you got to start thinking now. Yeah, that's right. My bad. All right, let's see what's. See, all you would see is the ball, maybe come off one or two rails. But, you know, a high level player, I know high level player, I slice the end of the ball here, 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 with this rail here. It's going to kind of kill it because of English. And you don't have to come back right here. So I'm actually going to hit it a little harder because I know that English will come off right there. That's probably a big four shot for guys to watch. I'm able to do that. Think about the whole shot. Think about what you want to do. 
Yeah. Even if I wouldn't have tipped the nine, I'd throw it down on the last side of the game. But most people would just try to come out one or two wells over here and try to cut it down from downstairs. One ball. I'm, I'm really stuck to this break. I break from here on eight ball and ten ball, and here on nine ball. As I did, I don't move around too much. I'm kind of a yeah, that was right there. Yeah, shit, you really cleared most of that table. Close it out, yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. See, I didn't get perfect where I want on this pot either, but you know, I'm not going to stress about it. Just think about a new way, and I'm just going to bring it off the top where I was this way. I'm going to draw it back a little bit further where it's at now. Oh, good for you. Good job, dude. That's awesome. Hey, man, we're doing this live. I'm not, yeah, I'm not cutting this or not. Hey. hey. Away for those that don't know, go to Backyard Backyards Billiards 101 on YouTube. Hopefully, I can get them on Rumble soon myself. But you know, I don't know. YouTube's doing uh, uh, treating him kind of good. Definitely better than me at this point. The Backyards Billiards uh, live event is is definitely something to watch and. A lot of fun. Wow. Okay. That one ball. Perfect. It's always the last ball roll that gets in your way, I tell you. Oh, mother. Yeah. Not nothing liberal 100%, but yeah, at least I got a good hit. But I was trying to put the bottom. English are still affected too. Now, from here, like if I was in a tournament, I'd, I'd mainly be trying to do defense here. Yeah, yeah, no, of course. I, get, I definitely do all my risky, fun shots during practice to see what I can get, you know, see what I can do. I'm not 
one out there. Five volt's tough to get on from here. I'm gonna have to pound it so hard to get it over there. Had to make it cross cross side of me. Okay, okay. I'm gonna try to use the sudden ball to stop me. Yeah, there it is. There it is. Like stun shot by, I like it. I like it a little bit of top before it started going. Yeah, I'm gonna hit withdrawal over on the side of the table. So I got a little bit of angle going this way. Yeah. Normally you just want to stop it, but if I just stop it, it's actually gonna put the cue ball on the eyeball itself. I'm gonna put draw one. You got to keep it moving. Oh, okay, okay. You would have liked a little more on that, but that's still very, very good. <laughs> Come on. You're right there. Yeah, I'm Rush. Yeah, I should have grabbed the bridge. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you went one-handed, too. It was... <laughs> no, I would not have done that in the tournament. <laughs> He's a guy, man. He wouldn't gamble with me unless I played one handed. <laughs> There's, there's always that one guy that's one hand that that's always got one arm and can, can just fucking shoot like a maniac. I have a chance to break one hand. Everyone knows one. It's weird. I can do it one hand at all. Oh, yeah. You don't have to get shaped as much. You just work your angles. Alright. So I'm saying I'm going to play one, you know, that regular. Yeah, you got to understand, I mean, if you want to increase your eight ball game, start playing rotation. And, you know, if you want to get better rotation, Actually, don't play in one pocket. One pocket, pocket. Teach you, one pocket teach you patience. Patience and the little subtle, subtle safeties, the little subtle taps here and there. That should be out. Then get out from here, man. I think you can get out from here. Yeah. I got the faith. Ooh. Nah. I'm talking to you, man. Yeah. You can't, you can't drill going in there. You're not getting out. But I'm definitely up here now. Up in my step. Yeah, even though I'm from the pocket, I want to make sure I get the straight as I can Shit, okay. Now we're talking. Oh. 
He won't bring on the other side of the table right here. He's going to use center. Um, right in English. Um, Make sure I got off the rail. Even though, even though I was checking them I still gave it respect and time, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well, listen, I'll tell you what. I got to log off because I got to get my happy ass to my day job. Um, but uh, let everyone know where everybody can find you. I should have did that at the beginning. I tried to sneak it in halfway through. But for everyone just joining us, where can everybody find you? Our videos uh, on YouTube. Uh, and also, if you guys are interested in playing live, I'm going to start doing my live stream again here soon. Hit me up on, in my email, uh, back here at Beers, 2002 at yahoo.com. There it is, folks. Now, uh, everybody else, uh, if you if you like what you see and you want to see more, hit like, hit subscribe. Uh, we will be dropping these uh, pretty much every Saturday. And hopefully we, it's all uphill from here. So we're down, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it's all, it's all, it's all uh, gravy after this, so. Uh, thank you so much for stopping by. God bless, and we will see you next time.